Ms. Rule, you and the defendant lived together in an apartment where you had a lease that both of your names were on. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. When did you move into that apartment? October 8th, 2016. And the lease was a one-year lease? Correct. You moved out when? Like March 18th or so. Of 2017. Yes, ma'am. And you moved out after an incident? Yes. Why don't you tell me what the incident was? Um, I was sleeping in bed at the apartment that Jerome and I share, and he came home, he got in bed, he was snoring. So I got up, went to the living room, watched television. Immediately after, he came into the living room and said, what are you doing out here? And I'm like, I'm just watching TV, doing laundry. And he got upset by that. And so he said, well, if that's what you want to do, why don't you just get out then? I'm like, okay, so you want me to leave? He's like, yeah, just get out. Go back to wherever you want to be. And so I left. I grabbed my keys, my cell phone, and I left. And when you left, where did you go? To my home that I currently own with my husband. So you went back to your husband? Yes, just back to the home. Not to my husband. But your husband lives in the home? Yes, ma'am. And you've been there since March? Yes, ma'am. And that's a short distance away from the apartment that Correct. you share with and had a joint lease with, with the defendant? Correct. How long had you been with him before this incident of March 18th? Um, since October, since we moved in, the previous year. But you hadn't been with him before, so your relationship started in October of 2016? No, um, maybe February of 2016. So what you want me to understand is that everything is fine, everything is hunky-dory between the two of you. He was snoring, so you came out to watch TV. He came out and said, what are you doing out here? He said, just watching TV. And he said to you, well, if that's what you want to do, get out. Mm -hmm. I just want to find out if that's what you want me to believe yes. as a woman. Yes. Simple as that. And you said, well, if you want me out, goodbye. I'm leaving and take my... I just want you to... Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. He, he does Just this a second. Okay. And you, that night, gathered your things and went back to the house that you had shared with your husband where you remain to this day. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that's what you want me to believe. Great. <laughs> you want to tell me your version of what happened on March 8th? My version is I had an eye, eye appointment at the eye doctor that evening before, and me and her was supposed to go out and do stuff, but I had run into some friends of mine at the eye doctor. Put the phone down. So instead of me going out with her, I went to my friend's house and stayed there, then I got back. Okay, so you and the woman with whom you lived were supposed to be out together the evening of March 8th. Yes, ma'am. Were you supposed to be out for dinner? Or were you supposed to be out? We just gonna go out and do stuff. What kind of stuff? Maybe a movie or a dinner. It just but wasn't nothing. You were supposed to be together that night. Right. And you blew her off to go out with friends. Yes, ma'am. Ah, you see, now it's getting better. <laughs> now I can sort of... Now I'm hearing something that I can understand. Okay. So you blew her off to go out with friends. Yes, ma'am. And this going out with friends, I assume, Mr. Pipkins, I'm not faulting you for anything I'm saying, but I assume that going out with friends also involved a little bit of drinking. Yes, ma'am. And when you came home, you sort of stumbled into bed, got into bed, and fell into a deep coma-like sleep, <laughs> snoring sleep. No, ma'am. No. So why don't you tell me then? You came home, after having a little something to drink, and where was the plaintiff? She was in the room. I came in. Was she sleeping? No, she wasn't. Okay. I came in, got ready to get in the bed. They weren't even in bed yet. She gets back and say, you blew me off. Oh, is that what she said? Yeah. yeah. Right. That you we were supposed to do something today, and you didn't come. Now you come home, and you expect me to stay in the bed. I said, I'm not saying nothing. Yes, I came home, and that was it. Then came she... home. The prize, the prize came home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>